Hello everyone, bom dia. I'd like to thank Consumers International and Senacon uh, for this very kind invitation. I'm sorry that I cannot be with you uh, in person today, especially as you are in my home country. Um, however, I'm delighted still to take part in the 20th Consumers International uh, World Congress. I hope you've had uh, some engaging conversations so far. Uh, to me, the relationship between trade and consumers is quite clear. Uh, without consumers, trade would not take place, full stop. So trade uh, and the rules around it uh, affect the choice of the goods available, uh, the standards that these goods have to meet, the price that they cost, and trade also helps to create jobs. It supports the livelihoods that allow people to consume. So we need to ensure that trade functions in a way that is good for all. And of course, the World Trade Organization and the multilateral trading system, they have an important role uh, to play here. At the most fundamental level, the WTO provides rules upon which global trade is run. The organization currently covers around 98% of global commerce. And this means that the vast majority of goods you buy, uh, from your phone to your car, they're all subject to the WTO rulebook. So the rules we deal with here in Geneva have a direct impact on people's ability to consume and on the consumption choices available to them. And we're very conscious of the duty we have to consumers. Consumers want to be provided with the necessary facts and information to make their choices. They want to be confident that products and services are reliable and safe to use or to eat, uh, wherever uh, they may have come from. Uh, the WTO rules allow for any high standard public policy or regulation a country may want to implement. Uh, the organization also provides a forum for dialogue and information sharing on these and on many other issues. Uh, some WTO committees, for example, deal with very sensitive standards and regulations, such as uh, the use of chemicals in toys or toxins in food, uh, caffeine labeling on energy drinks, or limits on alcohol content uh, in spirits. Um, recent WTO disputes, for example, have touched upon policies to discourage uh, tobacco consumption or packaging information for consumers, preservation and managing of um, exhaustible resources, and many other very relevant topics. So in this way, the work of the organization enables members to address uh, some key issues to consumers. However, uh, we know that we can do more uh, for consumers around the world. Uh, many factors such as um, a poor infrastructure or lack of essential services, gender discrimination, conflicts, um, rural isolation, high trading costs, uh, all of these things obstruct people's capacity to join and benefit from trading flows, uh, either as consumers or as traders. So we need to remove these barriers and ensure that an enabling environment is in place. Implementing the decisions that the WTO members took at our ministerial conference in Bali in 2013 would be a big step in this direction. The so-called um, Bali package includes many important decisions, including the trade facilitation agreement. Uh, this agreement aims to streamline and to speed up customs processes around the world. Its full implementation could reduce the cost of trade by up to 15%. And this will have a big impact across the board, including lowering the cost consumers face. Another priority is for the WTO to deliver more negotiated outcomes and to deliver them more quickly. And we have a clear opportunity to do this on the horizon. At the end of the year, uh, we will hold our 10th ministerial conference in Nairobi the first time it has been held in Africa since the WTO was created in Marrakesh. So as you may imagine, much hard work is going on in Geneva these days. A new trade deal in Nairobi would be a major stride forward in our efforts to ensure that the benefits of trade are even more accessible 
uh, for citizens and consumers around the globe. Uh, and our partnership with Consumers International will be more and more important in this work. So I must once again thank you for this opportunity to interact with you and I wish you a very productive event. Muito obrigado.